Menu Pi 2.0 has a very simple setup now. Unfortunately it isn't compatible with the previous versions. For the quick start, all you have to do is select a folder containing NukeScript file, Gizmo file or Python file. Icon can be placed anywhere inside the folder, but it only requires the same name as the tool. Check out tool tips and see which file type is supported. Menu name is based on the folder name. Subfolder will be generated as a sub-menu on Nuke. By default, all Nuke script files and gizmo will be placed on the toolbar. Python files will be placed on the top menu. You can customize the menu and shortcut from the Change Menu Setting button. Animated Snap 3D could be a good example. This tool usually appears on Axis's Snap menu. Let me assign all these three functions to Axis's Snap menu. You can see the tool not on the top menu anymore. It will appear on the Axis Snap menu now. Let's try to assign a shortcut this time. When assigning a shortcut, the tool will check if the shortcut is available. If not, it will prompt you for details. Once the shortcut has been set, you can find it on the menu, and the shortcut should work from now. When you relaunch Nuke again, you can see all these settings are saved. And if you check the terminal, it shows the details of what tools had been loaded and if any folders cannot be found. On menu Pi 2.0, able to set nodes default as well. You can change multiple nodes default values at the same time. Just pull out the nodes and change the value as you want in default. Then click the Set Nodes Default button. Select Save Selected Node Class as Default. It will show you which knob had been changed to default. You can find some knobs that are not supposed to be there because you haven't changed the value. So you are able to remove specific knob settings under the Default Node tab. I will go through the advanced editing in later of this video. Under the Default Node tab, you can check which node's default has been changed by this tool. When you pull out the node again, you can find the default value already applied to the node. You can reset the node's default by clicking the Set Node's Default button again, and select Reset Node Class Default Setting. The last tool I want to introduce is about this Nuke. It will show you all settings of the Nuke that you are using in HTML format. Such as version, install location, assign plugs and paths and shortcut. So you can find a shortcut in here. Let me explain how all these Python tools work. If the Python tool comes along with the menu pi file, the tool will generate the menu as the developer setting. Be aware that some tools might set up the shortcut that conflicts with your nuke. If you just want to keep the workable command line from the developer but want to reassign your own shortcut and menu, just rename that menu pi file to another name. Name is not a matter. 
MenuPy will only take the command inside the file. Some tools will have the command line inside of their Python file, so you don't have to do anything, MenuPy will scan through that and create a menu for you. Some tools don't have any command line. Developers only provide that in text format. So you can copy and paste it in a file, and save it as a .py file, naming is not a matter. Then MenuPy will load up correctly as the developer design. Some Python tools might be very simple, and don't require any specified arguments. If no command is provided, MenuPy will take all the functions available inside the tool and generate that as a command in the menu. For advanced setting of no default value, you can type the setting by yourself through MenuPy panel. Under the default node panel, add a line, under key, type in the node class and knobs name separate by a dot. Type in the default value that you want under the value column. So this is all about how MenuPy works. If you want to know more about the backend site or running into any problems or errors, feel free to drop a comment below or Nukipedia, or message me directly on my Facebook page.